Hey guys, David Risley here with uh, PCMech.com and I just actually wanted just to show you the program that I use to interface with Twitter. It's called TweetDeck and it runs on Adobe Air. Uh, the, the application is free and Adobe Air is free as well. And um, it's, it's actually a really cool program. Now I used to use one called uh, Twirl. And Twirl is also a very good program. I'm not going to show that to you in this particular video. And it's because I've switched over to uh, TweetDeck. Now, now TweetDeck, you can see the program here. It takes up quite a bit more space. I mean, it's it's I got a three-column uh, thing going on here right now, and I could extend this out to other columns as, uh, and in order to to track things that I want to track. And I'll show you that in just a second, which is why I think it's so cool. Uh, but let me show you the first thing that I use this thing for. Uh, it's this column right here called Top Contacts. Now, I named it that. This is what I called it. And I chose certain people that I uh, want to follow uh, a little bit more closely, and I put them here in this column. That way I don't miss what they're saying. Now, let me show you the reason why I do that. Let me move this browser window over here. This is my Twitter page. And you can see here that uh, I am currently following 875 people. Now, uh, I, you know, no human can, can actually track that many people and actually pay attention to each one. And, you know, I, I can't. I, I tell you that right now. So what I've done is I like to follow other people so that I can see what they're saying as they go by. And you, this, this far left column is all the, this is all the people that I'm following, all 875 of them. Um, and then the second column is people who have talked back to me on Twitter. They they put the, my username and they sent me a message. So these are my replies. That way I, I don't lose track of replies. And then over here is a column that I've made as a group, as a top contacts. And uh, these are the people that I want to pay special attention to. So these are the people out of the 875 that I want to make sure I don't miss what they're saying. Now the way that I've done that is actually called, uh, it's a groups function here. Let's see if we can find which one of these buttons is it. There it goes, it's a, th it's a third over. You click that and it's, a, in a, it's in an air app so it's a little bit sluggish here. It's just kind of the way that it is. Okay, there we go, add a new group. And I can type the name of my group, I can call it uh, test group. And let's just pick off a few people here that I might want to add to this particular group. I don't even uh, know who all these people are. And hit Save Group. Again, a little bit sluggish because it's an air app. <laughs> this is the fun part. Okay, there we go. Now, I've got four columns on here. Now, that we, now we got to widen this thing out. There is our fourth column. I've now got the test group and I've got my prior one called Top Contacts. If I wanted to actually edit this group, I just double click on the name of that group. Again, got to wait around a little bit. Little beach ball. Of course, I'm on the Mac here. So, And there we go. I can now edit the group, uncheck people, check more people, whatever I might want to do. And then I save that group yet again. So it's actually a really cool way to track. See, I mean, I could have like work contacts and over here, maybe family. Not that too many of my family are on Twitter right now, but uh, I, it, the groups are completely up to me. And this is one of the beauties of TweetDeck that uh, I, I'm not aware of another Twitter client that actually does this. In a very uh, similar fashion, you can actually set up a search using this right here. What are you searching for? And I can actually type in a search. It'll use the Twitter search engine, and I can track search terms uh, whether I'm following those people specifically or not. So this is another uh, beauty of TweetDeck that you just can't do with uh, Twirl or something like that. Let me go ahead and get rid of this group because I don't actually want to use that. Once again, it's a sluggish application sometimes, especially when you've had it running for a while. I find that it can be a little sluggish, but uh, on Windows, maybe it's a little different. And then we can contract this yet again. And I'm back to the way that I was. So anyway, that's the, one of the things I like about TweetDeck. Now, they've got some things up here for uh, TwitScoop, which is a cool, uh, like a, a tracking service to see what's actually hot on Twitter right now. Uh, direct messages. Now I don't have. I can have my Twitter direct messages showing up here as a column as well. The only reason I haven't done that was to save screen real estate. Plus, I get an email anyway when somebody direct messages me on Twitter, so I don't really need to have them here for me to see it. 
uh, replies, which I've already got, uh, all tweets if I want to follow the public timeline. So I've got a lot of different options here inside of TweetDeck, and that's why I really like this program. Uh, so that's TweetDeck, and uh, again, it's an Adobe Air app. It's free to install for anybody. Runs on OS 10 or Windows. I don't think they've got Air for Linux yet, but I, I have to check in on that. But definitely Windows and OS 10, you're golden.